Now this week we've been marking the fifth anniversary of the London riots, which sparked huge unrest across the capital and in turn other cities across the UK. The Met struggled to restore order despite huge resources being deployed. It was to prove its largest operation since the war, while our Home Affairs correspondent Nick Beek has been speaking to some of the officers involved. The fires that burned across London five summers ago were ignited here in Tottenham. The spark, the police shooting dead, local man Mark Duggan. Police Sergeant Simon Wilmot found himself on the front line. We had burning cars, we had a bus on fire, we had buildings on fire, the threat of buildings collapsing. All the time we had missiles being thrown at us, but we, we had to stand firm and continue doing the job. Was it the most chilling, frightening moment of your career? Yeah, without a doubt, yes. The Tottenham disorder spiralled across three quarters of London's boroughs. Five years ago, Adrian Roberts watched these scenes from the Met Police's main control room. He was in charge of the tactical response. His worst moment came when he spotted some officers trying to stop a shop being raided. I was watching this all on camera. Um, and the next thing I saw were two vehicles driving back and running over police officers. I think mean, for the first time in my career, you know, I felt uh, we've lost police officers, you know, and, I, and, I, and that just, just sent a cold chill through my, you know, my, my, my body. And, um, but then remarkably, those officers got up and they, were, they only suffered minor injury. The 2011 riots here in Tottenham and across London were a wake-up call for the Metropolitan Police. They were shocked by the scale of the violence, but also the animosity shown towards individual officers. So, five years on, what lessons have been learnt? Well, it's vitally important that we keep people safe and that uh, we maintain public order, because as we saw in 2011, if public order breaks down, then you get vast amounts of damage and people get hurt, and we don't want to see that. The smoke finally cleared and the rebuilding began. But the riots exposed deep divisions between police and people in some parts of the capital. And today, for many, it remains an uneasy relationship. Nick Beek, BBC London News.